We've made it to the ghost castle. Legend says that if we shut the coffin on the skull, it lays the ghost to rest. Yeah. You scared him stiff. Let's go up the stairs. Secret passageway. Shut your trap. Hello and welcome to Into the Box. Today's game is Ghost Castle by MB Games. Who's brave enough to play Ghost Castle? The victim's journey, room by room, they take their chances. Along the way, anything can happen, and usually does. To win, you must reach the coffin and lay the ghost. Will anybody survive Ghost Castle from NB Games? This was a game created by NB Games in 1985 over here in the UK, but it was originally brought out in the US under the name Witch Witch uh, in 1970 and it actually ported it over to the UK and changed it into the Ghost Castle, which you see here. It's a 3D horror uh, board game, which was quite unusual for the day because a lot of kids were used to playing games on flat surfaces where you just roll the dice and move your pieces around the board. Now this is a game which you have to put it all together, so I'll just show you a quick clip of me uh, assembling the game. And as you might have seen in the clip, I actually broke the staircase. Uh, unfortunately, this game is over 30 years old, so the plastic has become very brittle. And when I was pushing this staircase onto the um, onto the tower, I actually snapped the little um, clip. So I've had to put on a black band here just to keep the, the stairs on there. Uh, also on the um, secret passageway here, the cage has actually snapped as well. So, you know, over, over the years this game is being battered and broken, but it's still a very cool game to play. So what we have here is the four pieces. So you've got red, blue, green, and yellow. Two girls, two boys who have uh, come to this ghost castle to try and lay the ghost to rest. Uh, you do this by going around the, the different sections in the game. You've got four different areas. The first area is the forest, and in the instructions it says it's drenched in moonlight. A path leads to the mysterious ghost castle guarded by a sinister axe man. You then go through to the ghostly great hall with its treacherous, shaky floor. Into the third room, which is the cellar, full of strange dusty bottles and a hidden passageway behind a secret mirror. And then finally, into the dungeon with its frightening shadows and a skeleton that comes to life.
Once you've got through all four of the rooms, you then have to ascend the staircase. So if I turn the board around here, you've got to come up the stairs, up to the top, and stand at the top and close the coffin. In the instructions it says, at the spooky tower, you're never out of danger on the stairs, only when you close the coffin lid will a ghost with the bouncing skull stop haunting the house. So you start the game on the blue foot at the front, and it's pretty simple. You roll your dice, move your character along the white feet. After each turn, you then spin the spider spinner, which in the Witch Witch game, you have cards which you draw instead, but they've just replaced it with a spinner. You spin the spinner, and then depending on what it lands on, you've got a dice, which gives you an extra, an extra go. You've got this skull, which means you have to take the little uh, glow in the dark skull, put it down the um, coffin and it activates one of the traps in the house. You've got the scared stiff, which means you then have to put one of these scared stiff tokens onto your player, which means that that player can no longer t um, have a turn until you spin a white foot. If you spin the white foot, then you're able to take the scared stiff uh, mask off of your character and continue playing the game. In each area, in each room, there is uh, red footprints on the board. If your character stands on a red footprint, they are in a danger zone. So when you drop the skull down the center of the tower, it could drop through one of the um, traps, activating them and sending your character back to the blue footprint. In the first room, you have the axe. In the second room, you have the shaky floor. In the third room, there's no trap. There's actually green footprints on the floor, which when activated, opens up the secret passageway and lets you jump uh, through to the fourth room. And then in the fourth room, you've got the skeleton, which comes to life and can knock you over. But also you've got the staircase, which if you only get halfway up and the skull comes down, it'll knock you back down. Then finally, when you get up to the small part of the staircase, your character stands on this little platform here, and the lid will close. And that's the game. So this is a brilliant game when we were younger. Uh, really fun. It's, it reminds me sort of like a mousetrap style game where you know you you move your characters around and then you get to activate something physical which then sets off something and traps your character. And for people who are used to playing sort of like um, Cluedo or Monopoly, Snakes and Ladders, flat 2D board games, then this 3D game was uh, a lot of fun, very exciting to play and really good to play at Halloween. This game is for ages 6 to 12 year olds. I'd say it's for the younger end of that spectrum, 1 to 4 players and I'd probably give it about a 5 or 6 out of 10 just for the fact that it's a fun, family, child-friendly game. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please remember to thumb up the video and leave a comment. I'll reply to all your comments and maybe suggest a board game you want me to review next. Hope to make another video soon. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you later. Cheers. Nice.